everyone. We're ba uh, this is Gwen here, and we're back in Celestian Tales: The Old North. So, for the last uh, episode, we uh, were going through the destroyed city of Mon Claim, Calm, 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 and um, there were some Enders, and uh, they were doing some sort of burial rites. And now we're going uh, to try to get into the basement. Uh, to see if we can find this uh, survivor that Ellie keeps hearing. So that's where we're headed to at the moment. So down we go into the basement. Nothing so far at the moment anyways. Let's see, is there anything in here? There is a shiny spot. I have a, a weapon. Um, anything? Let's see if we could go and change his really quick. If it's any better, um, sure, why not? Since it's, oh, it looks like we have a little cutscene at the moment. <coughs> oh, gotta wait for everybody to get over here. Blood, but blood? It's fresh. Someone's been here. That's sod. This part of the castle has been untouched by the Enders. Uh, Ellie, here's something. She runs ahead. We go over here. No, no, no. This one won't do. It simply won't do. My, my. Who do we have here? Sir, are you unharmed? Hmm? Have the barbarians turned smaller? Maybe there was something with the last concoction. We are squires, serving Lord General Severin Larox. Do you require any aid? Aid? She said, hmm, hmm. I wonder if they even know how to aid me. You know what? I think he's out of his mind. How about we just leave this weirdo and get out of here? Ellie smells something weird around here. Do you? Ah, oh, you noticed it, little elf. It's the scent of ingenuity. My dear, just wait. I'll show you them to you. <clears throat> Behold, my greatest masterpiece. What do you think? Pretty, isn't it? What, what, what is this unholy abomination? Is, is that a world ender? No, no, no. It was a world ender. Strong, durable, and resilient. A world ender is not a great tool humanity can make use of. Through many trials, I have turned man's dangerous foe into a slave to our commands. Turning adversity into our favor. Is this not true brilliance? They're all scared. Yeah, he's out of his mind, all right. This is madness. What have you done to this creature? All these torturous devices, are these your doing? Oh, so much I have I done. So much did I toil for this. They withstood so much pain that I had to come up with a new idea, as you see. But look at them now. Obedient as dogs. Dot, dot, dot. Well, some potions have side effects, but that's just part of the risk. The UC Lee should have you hang for lurking under the castle doing this atrocity. Alas, they are here no more. Thus, by my blade, thou shalt perish, vile human. Question mark. I don't understand your anger, little girl. These monsters ravaged my hometown, killed my people, took my wife and children. Despite their cruelty, I gave them not death, but a chance to serve our kin. And now you're calling me the vile one? Thou gave them not a quick end, but pain, agony, and suffering. The law spoke of defeating our enemies, but not by discarding our humanity. And these concoctions, these tools, they are acumilical in nature, aren't they not? Confess to thy guilt now, heretic. Perhaps then my blade may show thee mercy. Hmm. Da da da. <laughs> Should have known. Lesser beings can't comprehend the work involved in this. Go now, my slave. Have our friends for lunch. Now we have to face this world ender. Do do do. At least I'm so glad for the shield. So glad for the shield. Let's do this is crap. And well we don't have his At least we can put this ender out of its misery.
does seem to have a lot of health. Because I've put in, put in a lot of damage on this thing. And it's just taken it like as if it's nothing. Let's see, shield bash. At least it's been put out of its misery. Hopefully there's no more. At least we got a lot of experience for that. Ooh, we leveled up. Waiting. Where did that perpetrator go? He must have escaped while we were fighting that creature. We should check for anything in this room that can tell us where he went. Why not just chase right now? We're wasting our time here. He had a few minutes to get away, though. Charging blindly doesn't sound like a good idea. How about we give chase right away? If we really lost, then we can just come back here, right? I don't know. Just sounds like the most sensible idea. Dot dot dot. That does sound very sensible. I have a feeling it'd get back it'd be difficult to get back here later though. Very well, let's keep moving then. Kinda changed Isaac's voice there for a second. Uh, let's take this. I know we can't go and get everything, but there is a thing over here. We'll have to come back in here later. There's a way to get into it, but it requires a bit more work to get to it. And let's see, who got the Somebody got, uh, um, she did. Um, anything else? I think that's it. Alright, uh, people did get one thing. He's got Berserk. I don't even know what Berserk does. Normal attack does double damage for three and then, d uh, no. Do, do, do. Stand your ground. You generate HP and raises all defense. Um, I guess we can use that for protector since I wouldn't use it anyways. Uh, sudden strike. Um, I think that's everything at the moment. Okay. Do do do. Let's go up here and see if we can find him. Question mark. Hmm. Why aren't we moving? Back. Move back. More of them. We we're trapped. And we still have to chase that heretic. I think we have other things to worry about right now, Arya. We, we, we should retreat. I can't agree more. This way. There's more that way, too. <laughs> things aren't looking good right now. It's no better over here. <clears throat> but, but what should we do? There's no other way way than to fight it seems. Brace yourselves. Squires, are you here? <clears throat> Th that voice, is that you, Lady Bonellius? Yay, reinforcements. Die, creature. Are your squires alright? We we've been better, that's for sure. What in the name of the deuce are these abominations? They are, they were world enders, Sir Astori. They were turned into... Can we save it for later? I prefer we get out of here first. You've got a point there. Unfortunately, my combat skills are not fit for prolonged combat. We should just run through where Astori and I came from. Follow me, squires. Run! Run! Huh. And looks like there's more this way. Hmm. Now what? Zeus, is there really no easy way out of this? Brace yourself, squires. Here they come. Here comes another fight. So glad for that shield. So glad. So Arya use her uses Zeus's wrath. Quite a powerful attack. Because I mean two hits and then Do, do, do. Okay, uh, let's use one swing and still do a decent amount of damage, and I don't have to get hit doing it. Or possibility of not, you know, losing it. Oh, and we leveled up again! We didn't get any uh, little skills on that one. Oh well, doesn't really matter. There's too many of them! I, I don't think we can stand another fight. Don't lose hope yet. We can still do this. 
Looks like there's no other choice. What are you doing, Astori? What's with the staff thingy? Astori, is that? Later, close your eyes, everyone. Uh, I'm guessing some sort of push, flash, I'm not sure. Sir, Astori, was that arcane? Dot, dot, dot. Yet another practitioner? How many of the are there amongst the noble ranks? How about we start talking after we get out of here safely? A solid idea. Let us leave, Squires. Mm, he's gonna get in so much trouble for this. I can just tell. We remade it. We're out. Phew, I was close. Sorry, sorry. Back then, what did what you did was was that arcane? Grateful am I to thee, Sir Astori, for my line thou hast saved. Yet to practice such forbidden arts, this cannot be ignored. Tis one thing for a heathen to exist among the common people. The less educated are understandably more prone to the lost in their ways of faith. To have in our noble ranks not one, but two practitioners of forbidden arts. But... One of them sent those horrible abominations to kill us. Sorry, uh, sorry, on the other hand, used his skills to protect us from them. No matter how lenient thy view art of the law, Camille, this has gone beyond forgiveness. How are we to expect fairness in our lives if we do not uphold the rules as fairly? The thing is, is that forgiveness, love forgives all, even if there is consequences to it story. Where did you learn to do such a thing? I've learned much in my journeys outside of the realm, my lady. You wouldn't believe the things common people outside the realm are capable of doing. Dot, dot, dot. I assume you know what will happen next. Yes. Will you resist? No, my lady. Very well. Know that we are deeply grateful for what you did to save our lives. Squires, arrest his men. Take him and return with me to the army. That's terrible. What are you squires hesitating for? But, but, sir, a story saved us. Protecting an outlaw is a grave offense, little elf. Shall I take you into trial as well? Just do what she says, squires. It's all right. Hurry up now. We don't have all day. This just feels wrong. It really just does. It sounds terrible. Uh, everybody types the realm with different go to war. Okay, let's explore a little bit since we've had the chance. Okay. I still can't do that because I'm out of iron, but hopefully I'll be able to get some more fighting up against uh, weaker people. Okay, nothing to that I can really work on at the moment. Um, okay, can't go in there. I'm just looking around to see if I can find anything before we go to the trial. Because I know there's like certain things you can get during certain situations. We're coming up to one of those missable items and I want to make sure we don't lose any because, you know, in the rush to get... Moving forward. Do, do, do. Okay, I just want to make sure I get everything. See, shiny spot. Got a bow out of it. And. Okay, nothing over here. I think to fight the iron, I'll have to fight some things that aren't, you know, uh. world enders. Which I'm sure I'll get a chance to. Got a crystal. Um, they're healers. I think that's everything over here. Let's save really quick. Uh, this one. I kind of lost my head for a second there. I'm like, what's going on? I don't think there's really much over here. I'll check on this side. 
I know there's more I could actually get, I just can't, you know, get them right now. I have to wait a little bit longer before I can go get the rest of the secrets of this town. I think, yeah, because he's blocking off that way and then you can't go down that way, so... Can't really go there yet. The Inquisitors are blocking the way, unfortunately. I guess we don't have much choice but to continue on to the trial. Alright. Let's get to onto the trial, shall we? The trial of a story, Knight of the Levant, shall commence. Soldiers, bring in the accused. This just feels wrong in so many ways. It really does. A story, Knight of Levant. You're accused of performing arcane arts. A practice forbidden by the law. Do you confess to breaking the law in this manner? Da, da, da. I do. Very well. The judges were informed that you performed these arts in order to save the lives of others. The judges call upon Maureen, Countess of Bellinus, to deliver her testimony. Lady Benellis, tell us of the events that happened leading to the moment of the act. Yesterday, these squires were sent by the army's commanders to Montcalm on their own. Their task were to simply to notify the nobles of our arrival, so that preparations could be made. However, soon afterwards, we received news that Montcalm had fallen to the Enders. Unsure of their capabilities to fend for themselves, I took the initiative to go and assist them. I took with me Sir Astori, for he claimed to be knowledgeable of the town. We looked for the squires and found them in the underground chamber of this castle. They were surrounded by dozens of those monstrosities, and soon so were the two of us. It was then, when we were out of options to escape, that Sir Astori performed the act. The incantation momentarily dazed our foes. We used the gap to slip away to safety. That would be all, judges. Dot, dot, dot. May I ask thee a question or two, Lady Benellis? Of course. Lady Benellis now said in the testimony that you were out of options, Options to escape, not out of options, didn't you? Indeed, we were cornered, outnumbered, and exhausted. But ye could still fight, yes? We could have fought, but I believe the chances of us surviving were very slim. If my memories mistake me not, there were eight of ye at that moment, tis correct? Where are you going with this, Gareth? Lady Benellis, please answer the judge's question. He gets in a lot of people's nerves. Yes, there were eight of us. Well then, was it truly impossible to save thyselves? Each of thee were well-trained, well-equipped nobles from thy respective houses. One amongst thee is a renowned duelist wielding a sacred sword, no less. To get away unscathed would be unlikely, I concur, but to merely make it out alive? Tis not an impossible feat for Lioness of Benellis and her faith keeper, no. Are you suggesting we should have fought the horde of creatures on our own? I know my own limits, and so do the squires. We couldn't have won against them. Ah, but thou would have not known the limits of thy thief keeper. Surely the deuce would have rescued a wielder of one of his sacred blades. Unless, of course, if thou did not believe in his intervention. What would happen if that didn't happen? Your own daughter would be dead, Gareth. You are terrible, meany face. Okay, anyways. Alas, I shall neither speak nor make an argument out of uncertainty. After all, none can, know, can truly know the plans the deuce has in the works for each of us. Yet, I cannot help but think... That Sir Astori's arts might have not been truly needed. It eased the endeavor of thy survival, perhaps, but to argue that he saved lives? Tis doubtful in my opinion. Gareth, you. Your testimonies have been heard, Lady Benellis. Thank you. Please return to the witness stand. Ooh, he gets on it. Now, if you please. Would there be any more questions from any of the judges? Dot, dot, dot. Does the defendant have anything to say before the judges decide his punishment? Dot dot dot. None. Dot dot dot. Very well. The judges shall now decide the sentence to be fall defendant. Speaking on the behalf of the Church of Deuce of Valorous, High Cardinal Gareth of the Gardelon. Death by drowning. Speaking on behalf of the defendant's army, Lord General Severin of the Larocs. Exile. Ten years. This must be a joke. Silence. The two judges differ, differ in their decisions. 
By the rights of the arbiter, I shall deliver the final sentence for this trial. A story. Knight of Levant, I hereby sentence you to be stripped of all possessions which remain in the realm, to be from now and henceforth denied of all titles, family names, and all rights to inheritance, and to be exiled from the realm of the Old North for fifteen years. Exile? How lenient. Well, he did save some lives. Are you sure it's not because he's in Levant? Tis be lunacy. Surely thy words speak not of a just decision. Silence, Baron. You dare question the degree of the Arbiter? Even Arbiters stand not above the laws of the Deuce, since Heretics deserve it, nay, better than dr death by drowning or be burned at the stake. And what do the laws say about heroic sacrifices for another, High Cardinal? <clears throat> what do the scriptures say about one courage to admit guilt? To have neither saved himself nor escaped a trial uh, that may well end his life in dishonor. Is it not the very virtue of bravery the law teaches to its followers? My decision stands, Gertiline. Now return to your place. <laughs> Squires. Y yes, Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Um, Ellie, uh, yes, this is sen sensational, sir. Hmm. Are you calling me names now? No matter. Listen well to your task, Squires. You are to escort... A story to Levantine, where he shall be taken away from the realm for his exile. Afterwards, take this letter to Lord Levant. It shall notify him, as a story is only next to kin, what, what, of what happened. Shall this man escape in any way imaginable, then shall deem all six of you accomplices to heresy. Thus you will be sentenced to the same exile as he been rewarded. Nobody wants to deal with that. What the? Why do we get punished as well? What if he uses arcane against us? We wouldn't be able to do anything about that. That is for you to figure out yourself, squires. You are given orders. Your duty is not to ask questions, but to do them well. Stop whining like little kids and start acting like the knights you're going to be. Hmm. <laughs> Youngsters these days. This course is dismissed. Soldiers, take this heretic away. I still feel wrong about this. But at least he, he's not dead, but... I mean, to lose everything? Intolerable. What kind of circus is this? Be token the Lord General that the army of House Girdeline withdraws from this war. One heathen has escaped just punishment. I shall not give the runaway the same chance. But, but Lord Gareth, we need as many people as we can to fight the Lord World Enders. Without you and the Inquisitors in our ranks, we would be severely weakened. Doth not see the abominations that roam under this very ground, Sir Arthur? That that the demented man that is their maker is currently roaming fr freely in this realm. What wisdom makes you believe we shall let such a creature be? Da, da, da. This realm of ours needs to be protected, not just from the outside, but also the inside. Let us not see only one and leave the other to silently gnaw upon us. Da, da, da. Aria. Yes, honored father. Do you protect thee in the battlefield, dear child? Walks out. I can't get him. I don't know if he loves her or not. And thee as well, honored father. I shall be leaving as well. My paddlings and I have set up ourselves one of the abandoned houses in the city. Come and visit me later, squires. Okay. Well... I think this is getting close to where we uh, need to end for today. We're running a little bit. We ran a little over. So this is where we're going to end it. And um, if you have any comments about what you think the story should be or uh, any sort of thing. If you have any medals that you want to know about or any weapons or any of the armor, do let me know. I will try to uh, answer your questions. Um, if you like this video, do leave a like, and if you want to see more like this, feel free to subscribe and uh, to see more content like this. Well, thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye!